Hey Posse, are you ready to bust a couple more myths? In this episode, we're going to uh, deal with heavy bottles, deep punts, and expensive decanters. So, what's the actual story about heavy bottles and punts? You know, punts. You, you know, that indention on the bottom of the bottle. The way the myth goes is the heavier the bottle and the deeper the punt, the better the wine. The other myth we'll be looking at is only expensive decanters can maximize the wine's flavor. Stay tuned. Here we go. full of myths and false facts. Consumer education is gradually increasing, but still some misinformation is floating around out there. I'm here to clear up some of the more obvious mistruths and misunderstandings surrounding our beloved grape juice. I have a whole series of videos that bust some of these wine myths. Some episodes are more in depth, covering just one myth, while others, like this one, uh, cover several myths in one video. In this episode, we're not going to bust just one myth, we're going to bust two. <laughs> well, really, three, depending on how you want to count the first one. You know, as we go through today's myth, keep in mind, at any time, if you like what you hear, click like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you'll be notified when there's a new post. And remember, the subscription is free. Also, make sure you share this with your friends. This helps me dispel some of these myths. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. Again, the first myth goes something like this. Heavy bottles and deep punts means high quality wines. By the way, to get an even better handle on this, you might want to check out my video, Wine Basics, the anatomy of a wine bottle. As you see, I have a typical red wine bottle and several thicker glass and deeper punted bottles. In most cases, Bottles with thicker glass are pricier because uh, there's a higher investment in the packaging or the bottle. You know, said another way, the more glass that's used to make the bottle, the more that bottle of wine is going to cost. But it has nothing to do about and nothing to say about the quality of the wine inside of it. So what about the punt? Does a deep punt mean good wine? Today, more than anything else, a deep punt is just pretentious. It makes the bottle look bigger, like you're getting more wine and producers tend to, to ch uh, charge you a little bit more for what appears to be a bigger bottle with more wine in it. And we, the consumer, are usually willing to pay more. It also feels more substantial when we hold the bottle, which psychologically tells us that there's something of greater value here. Now, way back in the day, the thicker bottles and deeper punts were a sign that the wines were well made, made a, by a higher quality producer. Very select prestigious producers made high quality wines with thicker bottles and deeper punts. The more substantial bottle protected their investment, their high quality beautiful wines. Today with high technology used in making glass and glass bottles, there is no need for the thick bottles with deep punts. <laughs> well, except for tradition. Personally, I like the feel of the heavy bottle in my hand. Now also, if uh, you haven't picked up on this already, some producers still use thick bottles and deep punts because they're either tied to tradition or they're a, um, a fine wine wannabe and want you to think that the wine inside their bottle is better than what it really is. So. Thick glass bottles and deep punts are a sign of quality wine. Wrong. Today, thick heavy glass and the existence of a punt and the quality of a wine have little to do with one another. Instead, thick heavy glass and a deep punt usually represents tradition or deception. <laughs> How are you doing there? Is this information interesting and helpful? If it is, write, this is great in the comments below. Okay, the next myth is pretty simple and will be quick and easy to answer. It goes something like this. Only well-made 
expensive decanters can maximize the wine's flavors. <laughs> Let me answer it this way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the key to decanting is to get oxygen to the wine, to let it breathe. As it breathes, that brings out the aromas and flavors of the wine. The more wine surface that is in contact with the air means the wine will open up faster. This allows the aromas and flavors to be released. Folks, you can decant wine in virtually any clean vessel. Wow, wow, that worked, sweet. So grab a pitcher, a vase, a saucepan, or a teapot. The process is simply to get the wine in contact with oxygen to bring out the aromas and flavors uh, and help it to breathe. For wine, this brief exposure to air is like as if you have been riding in a car for a year. Once you open the door to get out, you're going to, to want to stretch your legs before you start doing anything strenuous. Well, wine needs to do the same thing, to get out and get all the kinks out. A stylish decanter obviously looks cool, beautiful, and adds theater to our wine experience and our wine enjoyment. They're fun, but they can be a little pretentious and more times than not, difficult to clean. For more information on that, actually, you might want to check out my decanter video. Well, only well-made expensive decanters can maximize the wine's flavor. Wrong. Busted. <laughs> there you have it. Thick glass, punts, and decanters. Now you're all set to discuss this with your friends at your next wine tasting. Folks, remember, if you want to be certified as an Asti Wine Consultant's official wine mythbuster, then just click the link in the description and fill out the form. It's an exciting journey to walk through these myths with you. Thanks for being part of the posse. Cheers. Hey posse, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And please consider hitting subscribe. Now if you're interested in buying some wines, check out this link. We've got some wonderful discounts. And be sure to check out these other videos. Until next time, cheers.